What's up guys, this is Glenn. This time we're gonna review this guy, the lens I got for newer. It's a manual focus lens. The aperture hits at uh, 1.7, so we'll give it a try. Everybody loves the blurry background. Anybody could be a photographer just with this lens. I really do believe it, so we're gonna review this and put it to the test so we can see the quality and what it's like, so. All right, let's do it. Got two volunteers here. Alejandra, right? Yeah. Yes, and Des <laughs> Destiny, right? Yeah. Yes, awesome. All right, we got two volunteers, so we're gonna put this to the test, the lens. We're gonna try the A6500, and right here, we're gonna do right around here. All right, bye. All right, bye. Thank you so much. Nice Thank you. you. Yeah, nice meeting you. All right, let's go meet some other people. Let's see if we can find, give me one sec. Let's see who we can find. Okay, so another reason why I come at this time too, um, this is a perfect time. So it's usually around seven to eight. Uh, this is what we're in May. And during this time, this is a perfect time because of the golden hour. You got the, you got the sun just about to set down. And when you want to take pictures, this is like the perfect time uh, because the the lighting and the exposure you can you or the aperture right which is a 1.7 on this lens which means it's going to bring in bring in a lot of light uh, another time is uh when it's uh cloudy so and now we have to find somebody else to see if we can put this to the test see the results on this it's a medium size it's pretty cool i mean it's a good it's a good i i, I don't use this for video unless i have a stabilizer uh, but more likely I use this for photography and it's been doing such a killer But I want to find some more people to do this with so I can so you can see it for yourself and the quality and And then uh, we'll go into Lightroom at the end of this video. So cool. Okay. We found some more people And let's put the let's put the lens to the test. So let's, let's give it a try Awesome cool. You guys want to see it? Sure, why not? <laughs> it's great, huh? It's great. Thanks. Cool. cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we could help in some yeah, way. Yeah, no, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> you have a good one. You good too. Luck with the rest of your photos. Thank you. We're also going to try the video. Why not put the video test on this manual lens? Because, you know, it's it's worth a try. I mean, I've, I've done it before. Uh, I brought my stabilizer so you can see how smooth it is. Uh, this one doesn't have, uh, what is it called? Uh, the stabilization inside. This is a. Uh, totally shaky if I were to do it handheld so unlike the lens that I have right now it does have the OSS so built-in stabilization but this time we're gonna we're, we'll do it at, after this last photo test and the Sun's about to go down so let's go find one more person that's it and so now the Sun's about to go down so I, I tried approaching somebody else they said no so now we're just gonna go straight to the video on this manual focus lens or on this on this lens particularly so we can test it out and let's let's give it a drive i brought my stabilizer because that's the only way this thing is going to do it I'll, sh I'll show you a video without the without the stabilization and you'll see what i'm talking about so let's give it a try this to the test without the um stabilization it's going to be all by handheld and you'll notice and what i'll do too as a trick i just remembered So a cool little tip, use this as a, kind of like a stabilizer and it definitely works, I've done it before. So in case you don't have a, what is it, like a gimbal or anything else and you only have a handheld, try to avoid using your hands and try to use your, try to use a strap or something and just use your, use the force on the, on your neck and you'll see what I mean. So we'll, we'll do a, we'll, we'll, we'll walk right here from, from that point to this point and you'll see what I mean. Number one with the uh, the just using a strap and using handheld. Now let's let's test it to the gimbal. Okay, finally stabilized. <laughs> Stabilization is complete. So the next step is finding a subject so we can test this out. So I try to find a subject or something or someone that's going to be able to volunteer. But it's 
usually like a bicycle or a runner or even a skateboarder. Maybe that's coming up. Maybe I'll give him a try. So let's, let's, I'm gonna do it randomly. So let's just do it. See a rollerblader? Let's try that one real quick. The only bad thing about this lens is that it's manual focus, so you won't be able to, it's not autofocus, you won't be able to do anything, but um, it'll either be defocused, defocus, is that right? Yeah, I guess that's the right word, I don't know. Or it's going to be really focused because I hit it right at the, like I was just maybe feet away, not so far away from the subject, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I have no clue how it's gonna turn on the computer, but it looks pretty good on the screen, but once I check it out, you'll see how deep, it's probably not even focused at all, or it is focused. It, it just depends, you know? But anyways, let's, uh, let's just test it on the bike. I'm gonna get going, and uh, that was our test. We'll go to the computer after this. I'm gonna run and just film us. I'm gonna be on the bike, and uh, you'll, you'll just, just, <laughs> just running? Yeah, I'll follow you. Uh, we'll go to the veteran thing, and then we'll, we'll We'll uh, run this way? Yeah, we'll run that way. Oh, God. All More right, running. Just, just stick around. <laughs> Have fun. Say your name. That's Isaac. All right, good enough. <laughs> All right, ready? Let's go. One, two, go for it. Test for the manual. Uh, what is it for the uh, manual lens on the bicycle gimbal? Uh, we'll we'll put it to the computer. We'll go to the computer after this. So. <laughs> That's my YouTube channel. That's my YouTube videos. Okay. All right, just cut out all of our. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. All right, so we're back from the park, taking those pictures, doing the videos, and this is a lens that I've been using, and it's a really really nice lens for what I've what, from what I've been seeing. The brand is called Newer. 35 millimeter prime lens. It's a manual, it's all manual focus. So there's no autofocus on this lens. It has a 1.7 aperture, which basically means it's gonna get blurry on the background. That's what most people like. And it's on a, it's mounted on a Sony E-mount. And I know it comes in various ones for Canon and Nikon. It only costs $70 for this particular lens. And it's such a great lens so far. Now we're gonna step into Lightroom CC and see what it's all about. And we'll go from there and we'll see the photos that we've taken. So here's the flowers that I took early before I took off. So man, the quality is just amazing on this. So cool. And you can see some of the me being out of focus. And the only reason is that is because I didn't do, I didn't take my time to focus on certain images. Only the first one I noticed that I did, but this should be a lot better, a lot more concise, but that's okay. As you can tell for the flower one, you can see how crisp it is. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to uh, kind of enhance it or do some, uh, some editing here. So let's just do that real quick. There's something I, I really like their, I don't know, there's something about their personality. I kind of like the background. I like this photo, I don't know why. It just has personality, it has such a different feeling, such a different feeling. Anyways, this is it. That's it. <laughs> That's all it takes. 
So what do I think about this lens so far, the newer brand? I'm a big fan of newer. First of all, even the slider that's on it right now, boom, boom. I mean, that thing is on newer. I got this other thing, newer. So I do trust the brand and this costs 70 bucks for this lens. I highly recommend this, especially for beginners. I don't have a higher class lens, a manual focus prime lens yet. I'll get there I'll, I'll, when I get the chance, but I'll, and then I'll compare it to that. But for right now, as a beginner, and uh, using photography, I just did a photo shoot, uh, doing some graduation photos, and those turned out really good. That that time I had a tripod, I had something more stable. I was actually taking more my time, and this experience I was kind of going fast, pretty quick, and um, but I still wanted to get the the idea down. I've never actually reviewed anything that I actually enjoy. So I actually like this. Um, what else have I done? I've done a commercial on this, believe it or not. There's a shot that I've done oh, with her, the hair kind of going, whatever, but it, it, it was perfect for, I mean, I used it on a stabilizer because that's the best thing you can do. And I noticed that if I run right with my stabilizer, it gets a little shaky, but I noticed on the bicycle, it was more smoother and it was more, uh, more at ease so there's a couple other things that I, I got to do or change but overall I think it's a pretty cool pretty cool lens and uh, do I recommend absolutely I recommend this so for for 70 bucks any day anyways I hope you enjoyed this review I thought it was really cool just kind of fun experience getting out of my comfort zone too so plus I love talking to people it's it's been nice to get out and talk to people and do what I got to do and it's just part of my personality so anyways I hope you like this uh, like subscribe uh, do all that good jazz have any comments below if you have a better lens than this guy but overall I think it's pretty good so 